Welcome to lesson 7 of Microsoft Excel 2010. In this lesson, we will take a look at using if functions with relational operators. There are six relational operators that we get in Microsoft Excel, which is obtained simply from mathematics. The first one is the less than sign, and it means is less than. The second one is the greater than sign, which means is greater than. The third one is the less than or equal to, meaning is less than or equal to. The fourth is greater than or equal to. The fifth is equal to. And the last one, the sixth one, is not equal to, which is represented by a less than and greater than sign next to each other. In our example that we are going to look at, we're looking at the grade 12 geography term marks and we are going to put a result whether the learner has passed or failed. So in cell D17 I'm going to put in a formula. Remember all formulas must start with an equal to sign. Equal to if and then we have our condition. If the learner passed they should have obtained a percentage of greater than or equal to 30%. That term mark is contained in cell C17. So if C17 is greater than or equal to 30, and if that condition is true, then the learner will receive a pass. And if that condition is false, then the learner will receive a fail result. I close the bracket, press the enter key, and as you can see, the result for Santa Naidu who obtained 89% is a pass. I go back to the cell, it now becomes an active cell. Using the full handle, I will now copy the formula down for the other learners in grade 12a. And that is using the if function with relational operators.